If you guys follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you might have seen my recent tweet, like, yesterday or the day before or whenever, I don't know, I'm bad at keeping track of things, where I asked you to send me pictures of your doggos so I can review them in a video. You know, when I'm feeling lazy, I just get you guys to do my work for me. That's how this YouTube thing works, right? If you're not following me on Twitter or Facebook, why not? Go do it now. If you want. I mean, no, no pressure or anything. But... Anyway, I expected like 10, 20 replies at most, and I got nearly 100 dogs sent to me, which, you know, kind of made my day, and it was amazing. But now, I kind of hate you guys, because now I have to choose, like, the best dogs to put in a video, and I don't know how, because they're all perfect. So I'm basically just going to be going through them in whatever order I save them on my computer, and we can have a look at a few, and hopefully I won't leave out too many, but we're going to cover as many doggos as we can and look at how beautiful these boys are. So thank you to everyone who sent me their doggos. I really do appreciate it. Kyra is grumbling away because she's a little bit jealous that I'm looking at pictures of other dogs and not her. So you might be able to hear her in the background. But before we jump into doggo pictures, in my last video I mentioned that I would be doing shout outs from the comments if you guys answered a question. And today's shout out goes to Furry Skeptic who says uh, that the worst sin evolution has caused is pineapple and pizza for sure. My kid's trying to get me to order it, they love it, clearly they are possessed by demons. I figure anyone with demon-possessed children really needs to shout out, because that's pretty tough. And if there are any, like, exorcists or whatever out there, you might want to get in touch with this guy, so... Sucks to be you, mate, sorry. But in all seriousness, thank you to everyone who commented. If you want to shout out in my next video, leave a comment below telling me what your favourite breed of doggo is and why. But for now, let's look at the good boys and girls! So one of the first doggos I sent was this little guy from David. Oh, he's so beautiful. This doggo is definitely a 10 out of 10 because look at those teeth. I can relate. I have a lot of them too. And that pose, oh, this dog could be a model. Please tell me he has a modeling contract. If not, why not? Then the wonderful genetically modified skeptic, if you don't know his channel, I'll link it below. He sent me a picture of his little pug. Oh, oh you guys might not know, but pugs are some of my favorite dogs. And this boy, seriously, if I ever meet you, I'm stealing this dog. Fair warning. James Fulton sent me a picture of his dog. I think there might be something wrong with it. Can't quite put my paw on what it is. Oh, this next little fluff boy looks like my old dog Jasper. Oh, he's so gorgeous, I love him. Oh, oh, please give him lots of cuddles from me. Oh. Ooh, Whiskey and Levi here. These are some of the most handsome, majestic dogs I've ever seen. They are 10 out of 10s each. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh, I just want to hug them and have them protect me forever. Are they looking for work? Because I could do with a few doggo bodyguards. I pay very well in dog treats. Laura sent me this little Christmas boy. Oh, I love him. Look at his big eyes and his little beard. Oh, 10 out of 10. I would accept presents from him. And then give him 10 times as many back. Oh my god, this girl, Jenny, better known as JJ. I think this is the prettiest dog I've ever seen. I give her a 2 out of 10 because she makes me feel ugly and puts me to shame. Oh, she's so pretty though, look at her. Oh, she's gorgeous. Here's my boy Hunter when he was three months old. He hasn't changed much since. Oh, look at those ears. They're too big for his entire body. I love him. Those ears are like 12 out of 10. I love them, I love them. Marco sent me two pictures of his and the doggo says, oh my God, pick me, woof, woof. At least I imagine that's how he talks. Oh my God, he's so beautiful and majestic. Look at him. Over on Facebook, uh, Katerina, and I hope I'm saying all your names right. Please tell me if I'm not. Like, feel free to correct me. But Katerina sent me a picture of her dog Adele. Oh my god, she's the cutest girl ever. Although, banana ice cream love. Bad, bad choice. Bananas are rank. No, no. You, you only get a 6 out of 10 because you're beautiful, but your choice in ice cream. It's disappointing. <laughs> oh, Oliver! So I went to school with Oliver and he's just set up his own little YouTube channel which is a gaming channel and it's still really small for now but he is such a lovely funny guy so I will link his channel in the description below as well but he sent me a picture of his girl sleeping on the sofa Oh, so cute! Seriously, I love this dog so much she is adorable and this is exactly how Kyra sleeps Oh my god 10 out of 10 for sleeping like a lady Bri Oh, Brianna sent me this picture of Sprite she loves being loved. Oh, don't worry, Sprite. I will love you. Also, amazing name. That is the best name for a dog. I love it. 
Oh, Brianna also sent me a picture of Stormy. She says she's pretty weird. Pretty sure she thinks she's a goat because she insists on standing on top of everything and everyone. She also ate a bike once. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. Look at that gorgeous girl with her big grin and her big tongue. I love her. Oh, also, the whole standing on top of everything and everyone, that is Kyra too. I feel like these two would be the best friends. Look at these two gorgeous boys in their red matching red t-shirts. Oh, so fashionable, so stylish. Oh, I love them. Where did you get a picture of me sleeping? Hmm. Guys, I think I've got a stalker. <laughs> Just kidding, very cute doggo. Look at him all snuggled up. Oh, he's looking so much. Has of Reason sent me Maxwell the Puggle with my daughter Brooklyn. Oh my god, they're so cute. Bonus points for having an adorable daughter and even more bonus points because they're clearly best friends and that is really adorable. <laughs> Seriously guys, you are just melting my heart here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a big mushy mess by the end of this video. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. He also sent me this little pug boy. Oh, he's like a prettier, less derpy version of PewDiePie's dog, Edgar. Oh. Next up we have my little dog, Olola. Look at that little, oh, they're little toothies. Oh, Brenda says, this is Zuri during one of our walks in the snow last year. She loves playing, training, and cuddling. Her favorite food is probably hot scrambled eggs. Oh. I gotta say, she is adorable. She loses some points because she likes eggs and eggs are disgusting but she gains them for that stylish little coat because that is so cute. Oh my God, I love her, I love her. Pixelated Skeptic says, this is my doggo Moblin, AKA Moby. He is a Corgi Beagle mix. We picked him up from the animal shelter yesterday. Oh, and he's just been a delight. Oh, oh, he's so gorgeous. Oh, I hope you enjoy him and like you all live happily ever after. That is so cute. Oh, thank you for adopting a doggo. That's lovely. Oh, I love him. You guys. Grace says, here's my dog. Her name is Coco and she turns one July 8th. Oh, a puppy. I think may maybe you're underfeeding her? her. Her legs look a little skinny. Preston says, here's my girl. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my god, look, she sits like a lady. She sits like such a little lady. Oh, I love her. She is an absolute princess. Oh my god. 20 out of 10 for being royalty. Gary sends our puppy Robin and oh, our old girl Bella. Oh my god, they're both so cute. Oh, look at them. Oh my god. Rose. She says, this is my boyfriend's derpy doggo, Sasha. I love her so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at those tiny paws and those big eyes and that face where she's just like, What? What are you looking at? I love her so much. Oh my god. Oh, 10 out of 10 for Stare Doggo. She is perfect. Oh. Ooh, this is the most energetic dog so far. Look at him. He's a bouncy boy. I like him. No tongue sticking out. Sorry, I don't know why I just did that on camera. I can't control myself around dogs. Seriously, I, I just turn into an absolute wreck around dogs and like I have this dog voice that I do with Kyra that Dan always mocks me for, but I started doing it in public now as well. And I have this habit of like taking songs I listen to and changing the lyrics to fit them to fit Kyra or dogs or whatever. So for this video, the theme tune would be that Charlie XCX song where she goes, like, instead of saying, I was busy thinking about boys, it would be, I was, I was busy, busy thinking, thinking about, about dogs in there. And that's, that's how I sing it. So the point is, I do this a lot. And the other day I was singing, I can't remember what song it was. It was like some kind of tune, but I was singing Kyra Needs the Toilet to the tune of it. And I didn't realize, but I was doing it on the street as I was trying to encourage Kyra to pee. And then this man walked past and he was just like, and I was like, well, what's he looking at? Have I got food now? And then I realized I was singing to my dog in the street. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's a good reason to look at me funny. Sean here sent me so many good boys. He says, this is Trooper with Sniper snoozing on the couch. The other one there is Bunker, I think. And this little boy is Scout. No, this little boy is me snoozing all wrapped up in a duvet. Oh my God. So cute. I love them all. Oh, that is like my dream to have a house full of dogs. 
oh, this little boy is gorgeous, but he does lose points for his choice of reading material. Avengers, mate. Nah, you want to get that dog reading some DC comics. Gustavo sent me this picture of his dog. Something looks wrong, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe you need to visit r slash what's wrong with your dog. Because what's wrong with your dog? David sent me this majestic boy. Oh, such a poser. I love him. Oh, okay. I recognize this scene. This is what I see every time I sit down anywhere and Kyra immediately jumps up on my lap. I get this. This is familiar. This, this bad boy ripped up his toy puppy. But he looks so guilty and he looks... Oh, he, I immediately forgive him. He's a good boy. He's such a good boy. Duke sent me a picture of his doggo and he goes, oh, Yes, he's such a pretty boy. He's so cute. And then you look at the pictures close up. <laughs> look at him as a shark. Oh my god. This is the cutest thing in the world. 10 out of 10. Best shark I've ever seen. Ooh, this boy is a young philosopher, Mr. L or Leo, pondering life's many questions like where his pet humans disappear to from time to time. Oh, he looks very smart. Let me know if he ever comes up with an answer, because I think Kyra's been wondering that too. She's not quite as smart as this boy, but she tries, and that's what's important. Matthew sent me a picture of his dog I wore snuggled up. Look at your little paws poking out. Oh, love him. Love him. Shelly says, no doggo here. Meet Rosie. <laughs> oh my god, she has no neck and she's adorable. Oh, Rosie, you might not be a doggo, but you're an honorary doggo. Meet Sid. Sid has a good bottom. Good bottom, Sid. Oh, oh, Godless Mum, she's amazing. Oh, she sent me Lucy. Oh, so majestic, so gorgeous. She's like, she's not the princess of the doggo world, but she's like the prime minister of the doggo world. Like, you know, you know she's smart, you know she's strong, and you know she's independent, and she gets stuff done, you know? She's the one who takes care of everyone and just knows what she's doing. Wonderful dog, 10 out of 10. Oh, she's so cute. Dr. Tiny Cat sent me a tiny cat. He's not a doggo. He is very cute though. And he gets points because his eyeliner is better than mine will ever look. I'm a little bit jealous. The wonderful godless cranium sent me his doggo. Oh, I love, I love so much. Also, extra points for giving him the Kong toys because Kyra loves those. But she has a black one, which is like the extra strength one because she's a little monster who tears them apart. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, oh, look at the faces! Oh, I love, I love. <laughs> Chris says, "Does it count if I have two? It counts doubly. They are both twenty out of ten. I love them. These are my girlies, Inca and Pip. Oh, he's so cute! Beautiful girlies, beautiful. You're both princesses. Lucy, our oh, miniature poodle. Oh, I got you guys." Oh, 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 Edward sent me this good boy. Tush paws, that face, he's like, do I have treats now? You need treats, treats time, yes? Yes, treats. Oh, I love him. I'm sorry I turned into a child around dogs. I'm gonna keep apologizing for it, but also keep doing it, so don't mind me. Tana says, this is Tank. He likes long walks, barking for hours on the end, and completely hogging the bed. Oh, that bit is Kyra. Not the barking, she's only barked once since we've had her. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty, pretty tough bark. It's like a roar. You know, it's a, it's a good, good man bark from that little lady. Um, but hogging the bed, I can relate. I think her and this, this little boy would get along. Oh, he's an angel and I wouldn't trade him for the world. So handsome, I love him. Oh, Jessie is a 10 out of 10 doggo. No, no, she's not. She's 12 out of 10, she's so beautiful. Oh, this is my baby Nero. Oh my god, look at that tail. Look at those big ears. Oh, he's like a little wolf and I love him. Oh, Nero. Here's a note probe for your consideration. I think he's missing a few legs for a doggo. He's still cute though. Look at those little eyes. So cute. I'll let him pass because he's adorable. Even if he is an imposter. Little sneaky boy. Little snacky boy. <laughs> This is Sassy and Chispa. Oh my god, I love them both. Oh, look at their little faces. They're like, they're kind of opposites of each other because like, Sassy is all like, kind of like, big and doggo-y and like, big ears and like, a big nose and like, a gorgeous girl. and But like, quite small eyes and like, a dainty little face. Whereas Chispa is like, kind of like, small ears and a small nose but these big eyes. Oh my god, they're both adorable and I love them. 
Get a little overwhelmed by all the cute here. <laughs> this is Charlie and he likes food. This is Rachel and she likes Charlie. He do, he's cute. Also, my bunny when I was a kid was called Charlie, so good name. Oh, I don't know this boy's name, but look at him. Oh my god, I love him so much. The Atheist Goat says, my dog Hagrid recently passed away. Oh, but here's a picture of his adorable face. Oh, bless him. Oh, I love him, and I'm so sorry you lost him. But, oh, so gorgeous. Such a handsome boy. Then call CJ sent me this beautiful girl. I think she's a girl. She looks like a girl. I'm going with girl. Oh, this is Milo. Oh my god, he looks so cute in that first picture, and then you look at this one in the bottom right hand corner, he just looks so derpy, and he's like, Rrr. I love him, I love him. Oh, this is Rook. I love you, Rook. Oh, I don't know who this dog is, but I love her because she looks like she's pooping. Cherry and Brentley, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, do you look like tough little boys who are probably softies at heart, I bet. Oh, I love them. Oh, this is Punky, and she just turned nine. Hashtag, this is my party dress. Oh, Punky, happy birthday. You look so pretty, little angel. Oh, I love her. I hope she had a good party. This is Sparky. She's a big Kyra fan too. Oh, so I was just gonna say, yeah, cute girl, really like her. But Kyra says I have to tell you that she is 10 out of 10. 20 out of 10. And we are both big fans. Oh, majestic boy. Would snuggle with. Oh, I love him. John sent me these two, Bella and Bear. Oh, oh I love them. Bear is a great name for a dog. I love that so much. Phoebe responds to a variety of names. A kind voice, a pat. Basically, less guard dog, more dog ready to help carry the swag. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's perfect. Excellent girl. Lily's two moods. Oh, I love her. Oh, look at this little fluff boy. I was going to say three out of ten for being a cat. But she has what we call diggy paws. Just when she goes like this, so 10 out of 10. Diggy paws. Sleepy boy, so cute, so handsome. Or maybe girl, in which case, so cute, so handsome. My bubby when he was a baby versus now at five and a half. His name is Hiccup and he's my little bratty boy. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, also he looks no different, like he hasn't aged and that is adorable. There's a little dog near us who looks almost exactly like this, who Kyra's friends with, and we see them in the park quite a lot. So cute. Over on Facebook, Ambie sent me these little cuties. I'm not sure if they are like mother and daughter, or like father and daughter, or whatever, or like, you know, parent child. I don't know if they are, but I'm gonna say they win best parent child duo of this video because they are so cute. Here's my little doggo named Linky. This is a little fluff ball and I love her. Oh my god, he's so cute. So cute. Oh, Melissa sent me this sleepy boy. Oh, Ooh, I got loads of these doggos. Teddy and Banjo. Oh. oh, I'm in love. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Jeremy sent me these two. Oh, I swear, that big boy, the dark one, just looks like a boy version of Kyra. You know, like a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit... Um, of a different colour, a little bit more masculine in the face, but that is just boy Kyra and I love him. Oh, I mean, it might be a girl though, so I'm, I'm sorry if you did. <sighs> all right, that's it. I think that is possibly all the doggos we've got through. Hopefully I haven't missed any and if I have, I'm really, really sorry. Um, but oh my god, I loved looking through all of these so much and thank you all so, so much for getting involved in this and being a part of this video and sharing your little little good boys and girls with me because it really cheered me up and I love this so much and also it kind of makes me feel closer to you guys, like we're properly like building up a little relationship, a little, little bit of rapport, you know what I mean? Like we're, we're getting there. <laughs> like it's nice because I don't want my channel to always just feel like it's me just talking at you guys, even though that's kind of what videos are. But I like, I like the interaction on social media and all that stuff. And I'm rambling now, but basically I just want to say thank you. And I'd love to do something like this again because it was really, really fun. And I love you guys so much. So thank you for watching today. Thank you for taking part. And I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you all. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked this, you can see more from me on the Here and How podcast, a weekly science podcast I co-host. I also have merch available if anyone is interested and wants to check it out. But for now, thank you so much to everyone watching and an even bigger thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon this month. 
A special, special thank you goes out to Gambit and his chauffeur, Deshaun, Mark Darner, Bias Lemmings, Christian Berg, Religion is BS, Rachel B. Royer, Matthew Minamar, Jay Lee Moore, Sir Michael Moore, Jaden Shepard, Greg Clyde, Pixelated Skeptic, and Tate D. Gibbs. You're all amazing. And to everyone mentioned on this end screen and down in the description below, I love you guys so much. Thank you.